Hello and welcome to Tom Show 29 everyone. Just a moment. Just gotta make a few changes, just one second. If you haven't noticed, we hit 700 subscribers lads. Cause you know, I barely notice, you know. I keep these uh, live sub counts in my room, you know, for your sake, not mine. Cause I don't even care. And Gabe, I hate to say it, but... Lost a few more. Oh well, can't all be winners. Anyway, today we've got a complete change of pace in that uh, I'm not going to be sitting on my ass for like 10 plus minutes complaining about rich people. Instead, I'm going to do it in five. Now, as we've all been stuck inside for the past few months, we've all had nothing to do but uh, turn on the TV and watch the world burn. But nowadays, there's a global disregard for the importance of TV. Now, some of you may see the classic TV like like an elderly family member, you know, just a reminder of the past that spews out useless information and is really just taking up space in the living room. But just like an elderly relative, there's always someone who claims to have a use for the old tool. <laughs> Guess some people just can't let go. But I think TV has so much potential. It's just such a shame that companies like Channel 10, quite like old people actually, are having their assets sold off and reduced to ash. So today's challenge is to make TV great again. All right, let's start from the beginning with a rhetorical question. What did you hate about TV growing up? Yeah, it's the ads. Good answer. Let's move on. Now, I think that TV has some good concepts for ads. They just need a bit of a polish. Here's what I've got. Jesus, Philip, where are you? I'm stuck out on this bloody site with nothing but my fake costume. What do you expect me to do? You better not be filming superannuation ads again. And because my mother's death was labelled an accident instead of second degree murder, I've just inherited all of her superannuation. So come on, do it for mum. During the lockdown, I lost my job as a part-time scuba diver. So to create some extra income, I decided to fulfil a dream I've always had since I was a little boy. And with the help of Nimble.com, I was finally able to kickstart my dream radical Islamic group. Nimble gives quick and easy loans up to $5,000 to really help your business blow up in 2020. So if you need a boost to your business, make sure to check out Nimble.com slash no questions asked. These poor African children are demanding that our country gives them water. And Scott Morrison thinks it's okay to give these penniless children our water. Where will this stop? Soon they'll be asking for your food as well. I'm sorry, when was the last time those children paid taxes? Tell ScoMo no to giving African children water. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. Now another staple of TV is the news, and well... There's quite a lot of channels that consider themselves news. Now, I thought about trying to get on a current affair, but I don't have the pace to outrun the cameraman. But everyone knows, if you want real news, the ABC is the home for groundbreaking stories such as Research finds coronavirus had a bigger impact on women's drinking and experts aren't surprised. Alphabetical order has been around for 800 years. But is it on the way out? And probably the worst pun I've seen, George Floyd's brother, Chokes back tears. So now that Corona has finished taking up all the headlines, I reckon there's a bit of space for me to squeeze in. So I went to my local news agent, grabbed a card, and I let the ABC have a piece of my mind. Dear the ABC, I am writing to you today to inform you of information that has recently come into my hands. I have recently come into contact with a band of cults that have opened up inside the affluent suburbs of Australia. They call themselves private schools. Here's my... Uh I mean, someone else's YouTube channel I found. They do a really good job at explaining the situation. You should really check them out. I reckon he could probably do an hour-long primetime interview, but of course, the payment would have to match. Yours sincerely, Tim Salaz. So I'm not gonna lie, uh, I wasn't confident I was gonna make it on TV. But then, out of the steaming pile of garbage that is morning television, a god appeared. Carl Stefanovic. Previously on the Twinkle Toe Time channel. Look, Carl, you've obviously got a price. So if you know, if you ever want to come on my channel, you just you just let me know how much. I reckon I could get you on here for ten bucks and an opal card. Ten bucks and an opal card. Well, this little smart ass is ready to make a deal. So I grabbed a 10 bucks in Opal card and dropped it off at Channel 9 Studios. Oh, what's this one new voice, mate? Oh, this'll be it, lads. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm calling from Channel 9 Security in our time and I uh, just wanted to leave a message for Tom. Um, I passed on your details to Carl Stefanovic and he has no idea who you are, mate. I still see your shadows in my room. Oh, God, we're can't can't it. It can't be as good as this. What's the latest picture? <laughs> I cannot change you, so I must replace you. Easy 
<laughs> on the single scene. That looks even. <laughs> I don't want to wake up with the Today Show, or at all. <laughs> <laughs>